Hi, welcome to the demonstration corner. I'm Kelsey and this is Dale. And today we're gonna to be showing you how to make some basic measurements with the TLS 100 and the TLS 150. So we're just gonna start with the TLS 100 and show you how to make a measurement um, with a basic solid polymer sample. So we're gonna uh, take our protective sheath off and first dip our TLS 100 millimeter in the thermal paste. So we're just gonna to wanna to dip it in and get a good amount on the tip of the needle and then insert it into the top of our verification sample and spin as we're inserting it. So we just wanna make sure that we're coating uh, the entire TLS 100 millimeter needle to get good uh, contact between the sample and the sensor. And then after we insert it, we're gonna wanna wait about like 10 minutes uh, before running some measurements just to, for it to um, achieve like isothermal conditions to get the best measurements possible. So with the TLS 100, we also have some bits and pieces that come along with it. So we have um, this, uh, to assist with inserting our needle into um, samples just to protect it from damaging. So we can insert that first and then remove it and insert our needle right afterwards just so that it doesn't get damaged. Um, for more rigid samples, we also have um, this drill bit. So this can be attached and drill a hole before inserting our sample. And then we also have um, our sleeve. So we can cast this into concrete samples actually and then insert our needle with our thermal paste and measure the concrete samples that way. So yeah, simil similar method, we would just dip the needle in the thermal paste and then insert it into the sleeve. And that's how we can measure concrete with the TLS 100. Moving on to the TLS 150, 50, TLS, TLS 50, sorry. Uh, this needle is shorter with a larger diameter and it's just for measuring samples that are um, more rigid and more difficult to drill. So similar method, um, we would just yeah, dip the needle into the thermal paste and then dip it into our nylon verification sample and me make measurements that way. This one also comes with a drill bit and we could drill into more rigid solid uh, samples and then insert our needle into the sample that way. Yeah, after applying our thermal paste. And then that's how we would perform our measurements. Yeah. So that's pretty much everything for making measurements with the TLS 100 and TLS 50. Um, thank you for listening and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.